In this lecture, we will learn about how the code of Hamiltonian cycle works when using backtracking. And let's look at this problem with a particular graph. So we will see. So what happens here is basically I'm trying to search everything in the state space for Hamiltonian cycle. So we will have a few arrays. So we have x1 to n is an array where x1 represents the first vertex in the cycle, x2 represents the second vertex, x3 the third vertex and finally xn the nth vertex or the last vertex in the cycle. And we have to populate these x1, x2, x3 and so on. So you are given vertices 1, numbered 1, 2, 3 till n and you have to find how there is a cycle in the graph. Is there a Hamiltonian cycle? So every time, so we call Hamiltonian with int k, okay, and then we find, okay, which should be our kth node in the Hamiltonian cycle. So this next value k assigns the kth node for the Hamiltonian cycle. And if it is not able to assign, if this, whatever we have assigned till now, x1, x2 till xk minus 1 if nothing is possible then xk returns a 0 okay and if we return some successful assignment for the kth node then we go for Hamiltonian finding the node k plus 1 if we have done everything for all the node n nodes we have found in the cycle then we write the answer okay so the main function here is this one okay the next value so we will try out with one example okay so this just explaining this code next value k so this tries to assign the kth node in the cycle okay so for example this is a cycle this is one three four two one two three four and five okay so this is let's say a cycle so x1 is 1 so here if you see so x1 is 1 x2 is 2 x x2 is in fact 3 x3 is 4 x4 is 2 and x5 is 5 okay so this is there in this graph and let's make a few more vertices okay so these are the vertices that are there so now let's try to see how it works so first is that each of those x1 x2 x3 they are initialized to zero okay and then what we try we for each node we try to when we are assigning the xk or the kth node in the cycle so we try with xk is equal to 1 2 3 and till n all the possibilities okay and what are the constraints for the Hamiltonian cycle? That when we are assigning the kth node in the cycle, it should not be one of the previous ones. Okay, so this is checked here. So for j is equal to 1 till j is equal to k minus 1, we check if the new node that I'm assigning is not already used. If it is so, then break. It's not correct. And then what we do? We go and repeat this. We make xk is xk plus 1. So that's there to check. So this is there to check if I am not using a node that is already there in the cycle. Another thing is the xkth node that I am using should be connected to my previous node. Only then it can form a cycle. This is checked here. G is the adjacency matrix of the graph. So xk minus 1 and xk they should be connected. Okay. So this is there. And so these are the checks. And finally, when we have checked that, okay, our, the new xk that I am assigning is not the, any one of the previous ones, then what I do, then we are successful and if our k is equal to n, that means we already assigned all the nodes for the cycle, then I finally see that, okay, x5 is also assigned. Then I just need to check is x5 also connected to x1 to complete the cycle or to go back 
am i able to go back to the original place if i am able to do then i am done okay so this is all about the next value code now we will try to run this okay so let's try to run for one example so where we might also have some backtracking so this is node 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 4 and 3 it's like this so now let's try to see if we can find some hamiltonian cycle so again what happens is that we start by assigning x1 is equal to 1 which is we have starting cycle from 1 then what happens i can try out x2 so x2 from this one we first assign x2 is equal to 1 but again x2 the next node cannot be 1 because we have already used node 1 so i make x2 is equal to 2 this is fine how because now x2 is connected to x1 the previous node so that the cycle can continue and it is not any of the previous nodes in the cycle it's not equal to x1 that is 1 so this is also fine so i am done with two nodes at least till now then i try to check the third node okay i want to assign value to x3 so x3 i try to assign one but it's not good because in this check x3 is equal to one will become it is there already used by first x1 so it's not good if i assign x3 is equal to two again it is already used so not good now i assign x3 is equal to 3 this will also fail because x3 if it is 3 it should be connected to the previous node x2 which is 2 there is no connection here so x3 cannot be 3 also then i can try x3 is equal to 4 this will pass this check so x3 is equal to 4 node 4 is connected to x2 which is equal to 2 so there is an edge so i am done till x3 is equal to node 4 i can make then what i need to do i am trying for x4 x4 what happens is x4 i try one it is not good two i try it's not good because it's already there in the cycle then i try three so three is three connected to four so no it's not connected to four so this also fails so now i have tried x3 x4 is equal to 3 it fails then i try x4 is equal to 4 but x4 is 4 will also not be true because of what x4 is equal to 4 because x3 is already 4 so this is also false which means now i have tried all all the possibilities so finally x4 will become a zero okay it will be assigned a value zero because of this modulo operator so x4 becomes 0 which means in the Hamiltonian that function it finds that okay that cannot be done so now what it does is it means this is also wrong x3 is equal to 4 is wrong so I have to assign something else but we find that we have tried x3 is equal to 4 then x3 becomes a 0 because there is nothing possible 1 2 3 we tried all failed 4 also i tried it also failed x3 becomes 0 it means this is also wrong then what happens x3 is equal to 0 is wrong x2 is equal to 2 i had tried so x3 x2 is equal to 3 means i have to try so x2 is equal to 3 this is fine because it's connected to 1 and it is different from the previous node this is fine but then what happens is let's try with different color so x3 again if i try to find so x1 and x3 so this is done and this is done now if i try to find x3 so x3 is equal to 2 if i try this is also false because 2 is not connected to 3 and x3 is equal to 4 if i try that is also wrong because 3 is not connected to 4 so it means x3 again becomes 0 and it fails so x2 is equal to 3 is also wrong okay so this way you can keep on backtracking okay and you will finally find this has no possibility okay x 
so this is gone x2 cannot be equal to 4 because they are not connected it means you have to change x1 is equal to 1 but again so if x1 if 1 you have tried every possibility and it has failed so this has no hamiltonian cycle okay and this i purposely took so that backtracking can be seen from this example so thanks a lot